2 Timothy 2, 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops, salutations to all my fellow laborers, doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever, the 144,000, and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathen that look like those heathen. This is not a black thing. And to the few Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. All right. So, yeah, this is definitely not a black thing. The Israelites got scattered to all people. Uh, we woke now is, is, is paid opposition to push forth false doctrine and to control the narrative. To fuel that war between the Edomites. As the Christians are pointed out that uh, that you know that the 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 Ashkenazi are Japhet and they're not, all right. And then the and then the uh, the Ashkenazi are saying that the right Christianity is Edom, all right. <clears throat> but the Edom thing is left off the table from um, uh, you know in most cases. And two two scriptures that I'm gonna read. To prove the, uh, you know, that Esau Edom is ruling in the end of days, and there are no prophecies that said that Japheth would enslave Israel, that Japheth would uh, uh, control the money system, that Japheth would be at the head of the control in the world. The world, the Lord Yahushai, the true name of, of of the of our King and Savior, that the world fraudulently uh, calls Jesus. Um. He returns to a world that's ruled by Edom. He returns to a world where Edom is in the Holy Land. All right. And, and sitting at the seat. And they truly are the synagogue of Satan. All right. Um, so before I get those scriptures. Matter of fact, never mind. Let's get the scriptures first. I'm going to play the because the, both these videos are the same video. One is just a four minute short that was taken out of the long video. And I'm gonna play about five minutes of, uh, well, about the play the whole video of the short one and made about three or four minutes of the of the long one. Because this guy, Matthew Nolan, uh, is definitely teaching uh, false doctrine. And the doctrine that, and that doctrine is the doctrine that uh, Japhet, you know, is the so-called white man. They're not two so they're not two sets of white people. He's ignored prophecy and history. All right. Uh Japheth land was taken over by Esau Edom. All right. But let's get a couple scriptures to solidify what I stated earlier. Uh, and uh Oh yeah. Isaiah 63 or 65, 63. <clears throat> it's a lucky. And then, you know, that rain that came down the other day brought down all kind of stuff in those clouds on top of the people because everybody got headaches and sore throats and body aches immediately after. You can expect that almost every time it rains now. But yeah, this is Isaiah 63 and 1. And it reads, Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that tread of the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. When the Lord redeems his Israelites, he returns to a world that's ruled by Edom, not by Japhet. All right. There was no prophecy that Japhet would be in control. 
There's no prophecy that Japheth would take Israel. All right. The prophecy is that Edom would, would steal the heritage of Israel and steal the land of Israel itself. All right. Let's go to Ezekiel uh, 36 and 5. Literally one of my favorite scriptures in the whole Bible. All right. But I'm going to read verse 2 first. Ezekiel 36 and 2. Thus saith the Lord power, because the enemy have said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. That's the Greek way of saying Edomites or Edom, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the Israelites were cast it out for a prey and the Edomites proudly and spitefully, despitefully have appointed that land into their to their own hands with great violence, all right, still to this day, all right, and through that violence, they're leading the world into World War III, fulfilling the prophecy of the least of the flock shall draw them out, all right, so without any further ado, the uh, paid opposition, we are woke now, or we woke now, commercials on Jewish and Irish um, I wish I was black every white Jewish now the actual Irish was so-called black all right Ireland started being called Ireland uh, after the fall of Rome and, and when Rome fell the Negroes took over all of, of Europe so Europe had, had has had three different people ruling over it originally the Japhetic people all right who are these people here Let's look at some of them in art. All right. See that guy there? He's clearly not a white guy. Okay. And then let's look at some of that pottery. All right. Even some of their imagery. Okay. These are not so-called white men. These, these are Etruscans or what you would call your, uh, your Hawaiians, your Samoans. You know, they were people of color. All right. Covered in tattoos. All right, the Minoans, the Etruscans, they were people of color. All right, so they put a blind guy in here. Well, what? No, that's not. These were the Etruscans. Okay, so you know Esau Edom uh, uh, is a, a, a liar, and as a matter of fact, the same headdress that the Romans wore, uh, you know, is the headdress that these Etruscans. Uh, uh, war. King Kamehameha, the king of uh, uh, the key, the king of of of, uh, of of the Hawaiians, he wore ancient, uh, you know, Samoan dress. Matter of fact, here's there you go. You can clearly see that these were those uh, Hawaiian people. This is actual, you know, mask. Or, I mean, not a mask, but uh, someone's face. Some individuals face from the ancient times. These were your Etruscans, the so-called Hawaiians. So Esau Edom is, is you know, is, is just a, a, a liar. All right. All the way up and down. And this guy, Matthew Nolan, and we woke now, you know, these are agents uh, of paid opposition. Because now that the truth is out, what they're trying to do is uh, control the narrative. And you never hear them speak about the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. And that's because they want America to be, you know, this haven of Christianity and white holiness. And which America is the haven of Babylon, the great, of wickedness. No one has spilled more blood than white Christianity. No one has raped, robbed, murdered, or pillaged more than, you know, white, white so-called white Christianity. Point blank, period. But uh, here, let's go ahead and play this video. Guy wishes he was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, she's Indian. She's black. She's everything. You could be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was. And hopefully they don't cut this video off midway through 
while I'm recording because they did that to me last night. Evidence was coming out so hard, and, you know, and they hadn't done that to me in a long time. But yeah, they actually cut off my video. Camera just cut off. All right, so I know that was done internally from the other side. But anyway, here we go. He was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Oh, Miss Sophia. No, Miss Sophia, no! Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. To all my Jewish friends, my Jewish brothers and sisters, stand tall. Stand tall. Do not let this fear, this sadness, this anxiety, and this dread overwhelm you. Draw strength from your... Now, this shit-talking dude right here, many of you won't, don't want to hear it, but, you know... I believe that this guy is actually an Israelite. And here's the uncomfortable truth that Israelites don't want to face, don't want to acknowledge. The Israelites got scattered to all people, all people, including the Ashkenazi Jews. We are among them too, so guess what? Our seed is among them. Some of them are going to be us. And as much as Michael Rappaport irritates the shit out of me, I'd love to smack the hell out of him just because he irritates me. But one thing you can't deny, if you've watched him and, and, and see his acting skills and see him performing, this dude got a lot of salt, man. Yeah, and Esau has zero salt. Nerdy-ass Edomite has no salt whatsoever. So this dude actually might be Jake, all right? You know, just to put that out there. Your family, from your friends, from your ancestors, and the worldwide bond that we share that has always put the battery in your back. We're used to being looked at as different because that's that's what we are. We are different, and that's a good thing. I know that Jews are looked at as weak, but we're stronger than you can imagine. That's why you hurl propaganda visual that we control all the money. And so he's projecting hurl propaganda that they control, they do control the money. Who owns the fucking banks? Whose names are on it? All right, excuse my French. Who owns the the uh, uh, Hollywood? Because if you say anything that they don't like, you don't have to say, you don't have to be disrespectful when you say it. But if it goes against their narrative, you can get blackballed out of Hollywood, out the music industry. Who controls that? So he's saying it as if they don't. We control the media because it's plausible. It's plausible because we're just that good, smart, compassionate, moral, and strong. The weak <laughs> and liars, conniving and sneaky. But to back up what I said earlier about him, what I believe about him, all right, and it doesn't matter if he is or isn't, you know, just for the, for the record, but it doesn't change the fact that there are Israelites among him and his people that actually look like him. This is Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. It's being trodden down by these Ashkenazi, uh, you know, Edomites. They hide behind that name Ashkenaz. All right. And then you got people like We Woke Now and Matthew Nolan who continue to push that fraud, that lie people and we need to stand taller than ever against all those uh sick dumb uneducated black tar in their blood who hate jews because they ain't you hate us because you ain't us <laughs> you hate us because you ain't us oh miss sophia no miss sophia no i'm jewish and irish um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. So yeah, that would be Michael Rappaport, but he actually might be one. But nevertheless, let's go back. It's a shame so many He's people struggle with the most common teeth and gum problems. When this simple 30-second... Honestly, over the past few months, we've done um, some teachings, got some pushback on that, but it's also enabled a lot of people to dig into the word and come to some really great discoveries. Um, we did a teaching called the Synagogue of Satan, 
and um, this really exposed that the state of Israel is not biblical Israel and that was really hard for some people to to be able which is true there is no argument there he's absolutely 100% correct when he says that we just read it you know they appointed the land into their own hands and it wasn't Ashkenaz it was Edom that's who's prophesied because what he's doing is he's going against prophecy. He'll try to speak of prophecy and then go against it. All right. To see that. As a matter of fact, when you read about the crafty council in Psalms 83, not one of them was a Japhetic nation. None of them were Japhet. Japhet doesn't doesn't uh, go into prophecy. Japhet is a, is a serious background player in the nations in, in this theater that the Lord has created. In this game of thrones, so to speak, that is the Bible. All right. And the main characters is Esau and Jacob, the Edomites and the Israelites. They're downplaying the Edomites role in the end days. And that's why Christianity teaches that, you know, the Edomites are done away with. All right. But the, the, you, the rabbis will be quick to tell you. <laughs> all right. And point out the fact, not opinion. That white Christianity is Edom, just like in their own in many of their own uh, uh, resources of information, it tells you that modern day Jewry is also Edom. All right, so they're all Edomites. That because there's such a strong push for Christian Zionism and Messianic Zionism. Um, that, that was a really difficult for a lot of people to come to terms with. That the Temple Mount isn't in fact the Temple Mount, it's the Anatonia Roman Fortress. And the information he's bringing out, you know, I brought that out over 10 years ago. All right, and I can only imagine, you know, what the elders did before that about Fort Antonia. The Wailing Wall is Fort Antonia. It was a Roman fort that housed, I believe it was the Roman the 10th Legion. It was either the 10th or 11th Roman legion that were housed there. So the re because the Bible clearly tells you there wouldn't be one rock standing. The, the, the Temple Mount was completely and totally destroyed. So the Wailing Wall isn't holy at all. It's an Edomite structure that housed the Roman legion uh, 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 that was, and it was named after Mark uh, Anthony. All right, so Fort Antonia. That's your Wailing Wall. That the actual Temple Mount was further south in the city of David. And then the one that I think has really, really been a big, big stumbling block for so many. And the reason that I bring this up now is because we are in a religious political time where I just am seeing so much coming to light that as we speak forth the truth, there is pushback. But it needs to come forth in this time when these um, globalists are really pulling the strings and so many people are blinded, blinded to the scriptures, blinded to historical truth. And um, they, they're, they're led by their heartstrings, but it's not. He's speaking of himself by referring to Ashkenazi converts, which they are. He's speaking truthfully when he says that. But calling them Ashkenaz, they just took that on. They knew that they were in the land of Gomer. They knew that they were in the land of Ashkenaz, but the, the Gomer and Ashkenaz hasn't has been in that land since the time of, of, of Alexander. Alexander took that land over, Alexander and the Edomites. Alexander of Macedon, Alec, uh, um, or who, who the world calls Alexander the Great, is an Edomite. All right, His line can be traced back through his fathers, the, Macedon, the Macedonian, Philip the Macedonian, could be traced back to King Agag. And, and King of God was of the Agagites, and the Agagites were out of uh, out of Esau's grandson uh, Amalek. All right, so they're actually Amalekites, the worst kind of Edomites. All right, uh, the Israelites' number one enemy is Amalek, and Amalek actually has the land of, of and is projecting that on to the Palestinians right now actually fact um one of those things again that people have been led for so many years is thinking that the ashkenazi are in fact descendants of shem and we've discovered that the ashkenazi are in fact the synagogue of satan they're the descendants of japheth they're and that's a lie. mongols from the kazarian region that converted to judaism in the sixth and seventh century these are the things that we've discovered over the past few months so he's he 
he's basically needs to go back and, and, and rightly divide the word again. All right. So let's stop him right there because he's pushing that that uh, uh, that asking ass thing. And so is we woke now. All right. And I've never heard him once acknowledge uh, the northern kingdom. All right. The so-called Latinos and Native Americans. All right. And um, and neither has we woke now. OK. People will, will, you know, will call me. Esau will call me a black guy, but I know him. Of As a matter of fact, the most common blood among natives is O negative. Guess what? I have O negative blood. All right. There's a whole video about uh, out about the strength and the power in the O negative blood and how strong it is and how, you know, and, and how it can, you know, it, it basically the whole world can can could benefit from O negative. The whole world benefited from American blood, from the blood that was spilled here. All right, point blank. Period. Um, those teachings came across in exposing the rotting stick of Israel and the synagogue of Satan that are in our archives. But then, so um, let me grab a scripture and get ready to wrap this up. Um, let's go to a historical biblical account that we woke now and Matthew Nolan are purposely uh, ignoring all right because number one history doesn't back up the claim that they're making number two and even more importantly the prophecies don't back up what they're what they're claiming about asking eyes all right no, the, 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 the convert Jewish people, because I believe he, uh, there's a portion with Kim. See if I can find it. Well, you know what? I'll play this first. Then I'll read this. Scripture. They who say they are Jews and are not. Being Jewish is a religion. That's what it is. Being Jewish is a religion. That's what it is. True. Being Jewish is a religion. Not That's a bloodline. You know what you are? You're an ancient Israelite. Ancient Israelite. That's what Which means the Bible and everything in it pertains to them. Right? And then he tells, then he goes to say, I challenge you, do you want to remain Israelites? Absolutely. Or do you want to be Jewish? Why would we want to be converts and turn away who worship a whole nother? Look at you got your covering the top of your head. That's an ancient Greek custom that was brought in when Alexander, what I'm about to read, when his people conquered. Uh, Jerusalem, all of North Africa and Western Asia. All right, when they, when they, when, 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 uh, when Alexander of Macedon took over uh, northern portions of Africa, took over uh, all of Asia and all of Western Asia, they Hellenized everyone. All right, the Hellenization of, and so this man just admitted that the Ebo which is where the slave ships came from. These are the people that were thrown on the slave ships and brought to the Americas, mostly, that they're ancient Israelites. Okay? But let's get the, uh, the account. In uh, First Maccabees. Uh, First Maccabees 1 through like 9. I'm going to read it real quick. And it reads, hold on, I'm just changing that. And it reads, and it happened from 1 Maccabees 1 and 1, and it happened after the Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Kittim, had smitten Darius, the king of the Persian Medes, the brown people that you saw earlier, all right, or, or you know, all brown people, <clears throat> and that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece, those brown people, the Etruscans that you were looking at. Who are actually the the Minoans, you know, the the the, the Hawaiians, the Samoans, the people in Fiji Islands, you know, those people today. They were the original inhabitants of Europe. Those melanated brown people with the wavy hair that were full of tattoos. All right. 
and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. He was going throughout Asia and North Africa. All right. The parts of Asia that they call Europe today. And he went through the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations and so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up and he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. So the, every time he beat someone, it was, it was, the, well, you know, that what's that old saying? If you can't join them, beat them. So it was a mixed multitude for the most part, but the dominant people were definitely the Edomites. All right. And they were constantly, uh, you know, raping and impregnated the, the, the melanated people and lightning and, and, you know, enlightened everyone up throughout, uh, uh, Europe, North Africa. And, and, uh, yeah, I mean, throughout uh, uh, Western Asia and, and the portion of Asia that they, Eurasia, the portion of Asia that they call Europe today. All right. And it says, and after these things, he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Wherefore, he called his servants, such as were honorable and had been brought up with him from his youth and parted his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. So the four generals. All right, go look, do some research. The four generals of uh, one of them was Ptolemy and Cassander. All right, Seleucus, go figure it out. Demetrius, go figure who, out who these people are. Go read. All right, he divided it, and they were all Edomites, not Ashkenaz. All right, and they took over Ashkenaz land. And it says, so Alexander reigned 12 years and then died, and his servant bare rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, so did their sons, and after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. And that was the rise of the Grecian, then the Roman Empire, the rule of the Edomites. All right? The true and the wicked that was revealed, and Paul, you know, spoke about that. All right? So with that, you know, I hope this was an edifying lesson. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim Abishai, Bashim Rakakadash, Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal.